In this week's programme, we have coverage from Garlands of the first floodlit series from the Clay Pigeon Shooting Company. We also have news of the Bretta Worlds for 2015. So here at Garland's, the first person we spoke to was Ben McElwain. You'll have to excuse us for the wind because it certainly was windy that evening. But here we are now talking to Ben. Been competitively shooting for just over a year now. Um, I, I shot at you know, clubs and, and uh, shooting schools for a couple of years before that. But I, I seriously started shooting for a distance at the start of last summer. Never, never shot under floodlight before, so it was a completely new experience. I'd love to try it again. It was, it was something very different, and uh, yeah, it was, it was interesting because you're so used to shooting in daylight, and then when you come to shoot under floodlight at night time, it's, it's a very different thing. We don't really have much lighting behind us on the stands. Uh, you kind of seem, seem to lose your, your bead and your reference point, and when a lot of your shooting methods relate to using a reference point at the end of your barrels, it, it changes it up a lot. And I thought that was a, the biggest change for me on this layout, I think I had to adjust to quickest on this layout. And the, the, the second layout over there um, was much better, better lighting, and, uh, and it was fairly similar to shooting in daylight, so it was, it was very good. So 2014 really has been a fantastic year here for Steve Lovett. We're looking here at Garland's floodlit shooting, first time here in the UK. We know it's been done in the past, but this is a sport trap series that Steve's put together. He's just gonna run it over a few evenings just to see the interest, but we thought we'd get down there for the first one just to find out a little bit more about it. Steve was certainly excited about it and following on from what has been a really busy season, it was just something different that Steve and Ali wanted to try. They set up the two different layouts, floodlights on both, and it was nice to see people coming and supporting them so they could have a go at this great sport. Again, it does show that we don't always need it to be daylight to be able to shoot, but it is nice in this winter time just to be able to get out and shoot a little bit more, and that's certainly what these people did when they were at Garland's. We took the opportunity to talk to local clay shot and coach Phil Ashley and we asked him for his thoughts. So Phil, have you enjoyed shooting under floodlight? It's been great, it's been very good. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Have you ever done it before? Um, we have shot here on Thursday nights before, um, but not with Steve's targets. Um, I think what he put on tonight was very good. Would really you nice. come to an event like this again? Yeah, definitely, yeah. And what do you find the trickiest shooting under these kind of conditions? I think it just alters your perspective of distance and speed, um, so it does make it quite tricky. But, um, Is there anything you would change? Uh, hitting a few more. <laughs> uh, no, but I thought it was very good. Really and good. how well have you done tonight? Yeah, okay, okay. We've got a lot to work on. In July this year we were privileged to cover the Beretta World Sporting and next year we'll be covering it again. In 2015 though, great news, it's moving to West Midlands Shooting Ground, also known as Hodnut. It's considered by many as one of the most scenic grounds in the UK. With the Beretta Worlds being one of the Premier League events, we'll be very keen to show you behind the scenes and bring you coverage every day. 
Over the days there will certainly be over a thousand shooters shooting this great event. So why don't we take the opportunity now to look back at this year's final. there though with Steve here we go okay Brett needs to get back into these now this is that first second kill. little bit of pressure there okay Brett sponsored by Peeler as well got his Peeler glasses on there first, second unlucky with that first one that wind wind just got it first pair again no bird no bird called here stand six though it's a problem one. We just saw John Lee straight it though. See how Richard gets on. Misses the first. Now he took that teal as a dropper. Really tough though. Maybe this stand is a little bit better suited for a right-hander. Richard just struggled with that first one. Now he's got himself set for the second. F and D. Here we go. F and D. F. D. Oh, that's good shooting. That's really good shooting. Great recovery there. Let's see where he goes. That's the first. That's the second. That's really good shooting. Okay. John's still straight at the moment. Okay. Here we go. Nice routine that John's got there. Very focused on those targets. First one out hits that. And the second. Still straight. Fantastic shooting here. He's going to take the E bird first. And the D bird. This is the first. Hits the second. Just see that bit of frustration there on his face. Disappointed with himself there. Really disappointed. Playing catch up now. This is that F, F bird. F bird's causing a bit of trouble there. John Lee still straight. Fantastic so far. Here we go. Scott. That's the first. And the second. Really good shooting there from Scott. Okay, it's difficult. One or two of these guys don't regularly shoot. Beretta. Scott here with his auto. Can't really change much with chokes. You've only got one barrel to choose from. Hits the first, second. Really good shooting. Bird came. Nobody called. Slightly put him off. Broke the gun. Hits the first. And the second. Good shooting there. There we go. Now C and A. C, C coming out. Followed by the A going away. Going to take the A first. Got to take the A. Good shooting there from Steve. E and A first. Going to take the A. Taking the A drop now. Hit the first, missed the second. Very similar there to Richard Bunning, just taking that on the drop. Second one. That's the first. Second. Good shooting. The first misses the second. The second. Just disputing there. It was one hit, one missed. Definitely a miss. Here we go. Second pair. Let's see if it's troubled him on his mind. It's the pair. He spoke to John when he qualified. He'd done enough on that day. But he's here. Still straight. Hit that pair. Here we go. Pair again. John puts this one now. If he, if he, John hits this straight, the best he can do then is tie. That's the first. And the second. It's up to the rest now to do it. Scott's the only one. If Scott hits his. And then John's got to miss all his pairs. It's very much looking like we know who this winner is. John Lee is shooting fantastic. Okay, Scott's still in there. Scott shot really well there. Hit that pair. Now he's on another pair. First, second, good shooting, nice and quick. About last round then. Really fantastic, here we go. Oh. Last one out, misses that. 
hits the second though. Scott will be disappointed though to miss that trap bird. Scott shot up trap, shot some double trap as well. Be disappointed to have missed that. Oh. Sporting's his passion. So, second misses that first. John Lee can afford to miss all of his targets. He can afford to miss all of them because he will be crowned the Beretta World Sporting Champion for 2014. Ah, Steve missed the pair there. Disappointment there. You want to finish on a high. You're really now coming through on your last targets. Important to do what you can. Here we go. This is the first. Hits the one. It's the last one. Right, here we go. Missed seven so far. I'd be disappointed with that though. Steve missed eight. Very good finish. That's a really nice finish. Okay, so Steve. Steve's finished. Okay, Steve. Start at 16. Look at that. Missed one there. So there's a great crowd behind. Okay, so currently Richard's in second place, but John, can he straight this? If he can, it's fantastic shooting. Hits the first and the second. Here we go. John's penultimate pair. He's just straighted. Now he's got his last pair. This for a perfect straight 24. What a way to win this championship. What a way to win the Bretta World Sporting. That's the first and the second. Fantastic shooting there. Look at that. Fantastic shooting. The crowd can see. They're all clapping there. It's fantastic work. That's the first and the second. That's great shooting. Right, if Scott can straight now hit this next pair, then he becomes second. He will come second. He will shoot a 19. First one, second one. Yes, that's great shooting there from Scott. He's gonna, Scott's missed six so far. Okay, if he can straight this, then he will tie with Richard Bunning for third. They'll have to shoot off. Ah, Scott misses the first one. Hits the second one. So we now know John Lee is the champion for 2014. Here we go then. So we know that John is the champion. Fantastic. Well shot, John. Thank you. Really well shot. Yeah, Perfect you. straight. How does it feel? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been a while since I won it. So, uh, yeah, I was due, uh, due a win today, yeah. yeah so twice the winner now. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. Worked, worked hard for that. So, yeah, yeah very, and, and, yes, very and, you know, yesterday when you qualified, you didn't think you got through, really, did you? you didn't no, think you did enough? No, no. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, big surprise that was. Um, but, yeah, really, really happy. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. yeah. So it'd be nice to get on that on that podium and uh, something to tell the wife at home about. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> I, when I won it last time, I uh, I promised my eldest, who's seven now, yeah. um, he could have the watch. And uh, I've got three kids now, yeah, so I yeah. need three watches. So, <laughs> yeah, so uh, one more to go. So. Excellent. Well, really well shot, John, and congratulations again. Well done. I, when I see Richard miss that one, I thought I've got to straight this last peg to, to beat him by one, and I did. So yeah. brilliant. But you yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah, good very shoot, yeah. excellent shoot. Yeah. yeah, a good shoot, both the final and also the course as well. Yeah, I can't fault it. Very good yeah. targets. It's good. Yeah, you enjoyed it. Richard, wasn't a V, you couldn't no, retain your title when you no, got third. I was pleased to get in the final, to be fair. Yeah. Because um, you're always under pressure coming back. Yeah. So getting the final was a, it was a bonus. Um, and I knew next door John was shooting so well. <laughs> he was straight. Yeah, and, and that yeah. puts you under pressure anyway, doesn't it? Yeah, it certainly does. And uh, I was one down, I think, on the first peg. Yeah. And that was hard work after that. So, yeah, but I'm pleased I'm third. Yeah. So I'm on the podium. Yeah, so it's a bonus. That's all right. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. pleased with that. You enjoyed it as well. Yeah, it's been excellent. Yeah. Brilliant. Lovely. Tougher than last year, but very good. Good, yeah, because yeah, I mean, 108, I mean, you were equaled with, with John yesterday. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you're on par with John, do you know what I mean? He's good, very good, shot ever so well this year, so um, I'm pleased. I'm not disappointed. Good. I'm top three, so that's, <laughs> that's all right. Yeah. Perfect, thanks yeah, very thank much you. again.